Right, good afternoon everyone. Here we are at Chelmsford for the World Cup. Uh, we're into the last group games. Uh, our first coverage of the weekend. And we've got Peter Roberts of England playing Jürgen Carlsen of Sweden. So enjoy the game. We revert to the normal end after this end, but for this end I'm going to stay down here. Welcome to everybody. Good touch from Jürgen. Nine two after two shots, two balls. It just slips to the head slightly. Another good bowl from Jürgen. Hi, Chris. hit from Peter. Peter now line shot. As I said, we will revert to this end after this after this end. I prefer to be at the delivery end, at the receiving end. Peter line one deep looking to looking to draw through for two. Good at the moment. Still running. Yeah, good ball from Peter. Two shots to England. Next match you have Craig Burgess playing Jonas Hager. Uh, Craig picks up a three off the first inning. I'll try and keep you up to date with all the matches as we move through. Decent lead from Peter. Three quarter jack. We can cause a little bit of weight. A little bit of weight on this. Oh, gets a hit on the jack, which is a touch in the ditch. Decent blow from Peter. The ten inches short. Jürgen playing weight again. Peter's first one out. Peter lying one. Hello, PJ. Quick looking to draw on the backhand now. Yeah, it's yeah, he's probably left Jürgen a shot. Jürgen will still play this, I expect. Yeah, a little bit of run again. Just outside again. Two balls to come this end. P2 
feature I suspect we'll go for and look at if we just hide this jack away if possible. Pace is decent. Yeah, good ball from Peter. A line of very good too. Uh, that's sat down now, so that's changed the angle of the jack. The jack will come straight back pretty well if Jurgen makes contact. Uh, takes takes the block, so it's another two to Peter. Pete wants to leave for England. Uh, four shots up after two ends. Good lead from Peter. Three quarters jack again. So it's just past long jack. Here again, playing his backhand. It's not a bit short there, dropping about on the, the short jack length. Peter staying with the forehand. Yep, sits down for two. Here again, a little bit closer this time. Quite sure here. Looks to be one to Peter at the moment. Just stay down to the backhand now. Just pushes it through slightly. Jürgen very close again. It's definitely one to Jürgen at the moment. Peter's playing with a little bit of weight on the backhand here. Probably trying to draw that split. Be a decent effort from here. A good result, I think. I want to Peter at the moment. Hmm. Hard to tell without intruding on the mat. Jürgen's not sure. Smile from Jürgen, so. I would suspect Jürgen will draw this on the backhand, try and sit under Pete's wood, which is looking to be either a shot or a second. Sure, he's quite reaching, but just slightly short. Antonio, buongiorno. Call for an umpire for a measure, but it is close. Try and get up this one, give you an idea of the scores on the other match. So, Craig uh, Burgess currently leading six shots to one after three ends. Uh, on the next match, Nigel Nichols and Joel Hager are level pegging after three ends with two shots each. Slightly obscured for the end match, but I'll give you an update when I can.
and doing the measuring, very experienced umpire. Sponsor Peter, five shots to zero after three ends to England and to Peter and to England. Top quality marker brought in for the day. <laughs> Hi Simon. So Peter to leave, staying with his forehand. Three quarter jack again. Six, eight inches past long jack. A good start from Jürgen this time. Uh, looks to be shot. Reasonably close though for shot there. Peter using the mat. They've actually sat back down for shot now. Jürgen looks to be very close this time. Yeah, great. Another good effort. Unlucky again to sit down. Just slightly under the line, as you can see from the position of the bowls at the finish. Hello, Martin. That's a really good effort from Peter. Peter currently lying two now. <laughs> Jürgen announcing weight. We're playing a bit of weight here. Coming into the heads, so, again unlucky, another toucher and just, I believe, sat out. Let's try and take a quick look. Yeah, so Peter currently lying two, unlucky from Jürgen, three times already in this end. Peter to stay with the forehand. A little bit of cross bowling there, stepping across the delivery mat. Sweden on the comeback here. Here again playing weight again. He's got a result this time though. Use Peter's bowl to hit the jack to push it over to his own. So, one shot to Jürgen. Gets off the mark in this end. Score. Try and get all the scores for you as I can. Craig now winning eight shots to two after five ends. Uh, Peter's now leading five shots to one. There we are, back at the bowls. Jürgen on his backhand. Changes the jack length to quarter short. Peter staying with his trusted forehand. Their length looks reasonably good. Ten, sort of 10 inches short of the jack. Egan stays with the backhand, although it looks a bit tight from here. I think that was always a risk to catch that bowl. It looked a very tight line to come under the short bowl. Hi, Nicky. 
Right, just down the forehand. Just slightly past Jack again. Going, still going to that trusty three quarter that he likes. Good response from Jürgen. And Jürgen now lies one shot. Third bowl of Peters to be delivered. Stays with the forehand. Just push this one through slightly. I think Peter there looking just to pick that jack up, bring, bring it back to his other two bowls which are sat together. Jürgen asking who's holding shot. He's currently lying. Jürgen just playing the draw again. Yeah, another touch out. In for two. I suspect Pete will stay with the forehand here and probably play just a little bit of weight through this. Not Peter's natural game to play a lot of weight. He's more of a drawing bowler. Yeah, he's got half a yard on this. That's an absolutely great bowl. And now turns the head round completely. Peter picks three up. Three. Three good shots to Peter. Peter to lead. Eight shots to one after five. Good start. Just pass long. Good response from the organ this time. He draws under Peter's wood on his backhand. Forces Peter to revert to the back end. This doesn't look to be a bad effort. Yeah, very good from Peter. Yeah, good touch here. And now Jürgen fell to the forehand. Not quite. Light. The weight was very good, just didn't quite get the line. Hello, sheep. Peter coming through on the forehand. This looks to be a very, very good bowl. This mm, not quite sure. Can't quite tell from here if that's if Peter's now lying two. Good hit from Jurgen. Still think it's one shot to Pete Roberts. Smile. <laughs> a good hit, slightly unlucky. Peter staying with the forehand. Playing the draw, Peter's natural game. He did need to push that right out. Uh, Thanks, Smithy. All compliments greatly received. Mm. 
Here again, find a bit of white again. This looks to be a very good effort. Certainly three, potentially four shots here. Yep, yeah, Peter's nodding his head to four. So an excellent turnaround from Jürgen. Uh, he needed something at this stage. So after six ends now, it is eight shots to five uh, to England's advantage on the next man up. Sweden coming back slightly. Uh, Craig Burgess still leading Jonas Hagen by eight shots to six after seven ends. So Jürgen to lead on his favourite backhand. Start from Jürgen, little back toucher. Run through slightly, but very good start. Peter on his backhand as well. Just sit under Jürgen's if you can. Just, just slightly high on the line. Jürgen stays on the backhand. Looks to be very good pace this. Just sliding through again. That's shot wood. Not sure yet which PJ, but definitely. We'll definitely be streaming at least one of the semis. We'll try to keep everybody updated with as many games as you can. Jürgen comes onto his forehand, just drops a good short wood in, so he's just past middle jack, but he's line shot with that, jointly line two. Peter looking to just draw around that on the forehand, very good effort from Peter, just dying on him. Peter's a good foot short there, he'll be disappointed with that one. Still potential for Peter to draw around that on the forehand. Nothing for him on the back end. Well, we'll see how long it lasts, Alex. Nice to see you on here, mate. Another very good effort from Jürgen. It looks from here that Jürgen's line three at the moment. Certainly two. Of course, you start to put a few holes in there and line two or three, then you're putting the pressure back on the opposition. Jürgen's putting four fingers up to me, but even he knows it's not four shots this time. Oh, hang on, he's lost a finger now. <laughs> so Peter will stay with his trusted forehand. He's trying to put a foot on his last wood. Well, the green's very good. Has he got the pace? He's very, very close. That's a great draw. A great draw to save three shots. So, one to Pete Roberts of England. It's a nine shot lead to five after, sorry, nine shots to five lead after seven innings. Ray Burgess is now behind to Jonas Hager. Um, Jonas now leading 9-8 for Sweden, so a little bit of a comeback on that map for Sweden. So, Pete Roberts to lead on the next one up. Um, Craig plays wait to take off. Jonas his first ball. So good start from Peter. Good toucher. Jürgen playing weight. Slightly under the line. Jürgen. 
be looking to take a few shots up this end. Hope he's going to get a win out of this. Two good for leading woods from Peter. You're going to gain plain weight. Better line this time. A little bit unlucky again. So he gets a touch here, but only gets a sneak off that bowl. Peter still line two. And you're going to be touching the ditch. Peter will, I suspect, try and protect that to some extent. Anybody who's watched this from the start will see that Pete Roberts is uh, definitely a... He plays a drawing game, and that's a cracking draw. I don't think he leaves Jürgen a choice here, but to play some weight again. Yeah, decent weight coming at this again. Again, he's just slightly under that line. These mats hold very straight when there's any weight in the bowl. Peter's last wood. What's he doing with this one? Back onto his forehand. That's pretty good. He would like one of those to sit down. Jürgen's, I don't know what Jürgen's going to do here. I can't quite see the position of the jack. Not sure if he gets full contact on Peter's front bowl. Whether that will get the jack in the ditch. Can't quite tell from here. But certainly Jürgen is playing weight again. He's played quite... That looks to be under the line again. Yeah, it's just under that line again. So, four shots to Pete Roberts. So, Pete Roberts leads 13-5 after eight ends. Thank you, David. Learning every time, using, using the SMPT equipment this time, which is slightly strange. Decent start from Peter. Jürgen uh, resorts to playing a little bit of weight again. But Peter will just keep drawing. It's his natural game. And he's very good at it. Jürgen looks to be drawing this time. Oh, he's still playing a little bit of weight on this. Okay. Uh, Jürgen's possibly holding shot there. Pete Roberts, very methodical player, very much a thinking player. Takes everything very, very seriously. I know he does the same with his golf. He, he puts a lot of effort into and a lot of thoughts and preparation into golf and, and his bowls. Jürgen playing weight again. Trying to change things around a bit. Very, very difficult to claw this game back with so many shots deficit, but he won't give up. Shots count as well. So in this format, um, country against country, uh, we have uh, each mat, uh, a win gains one point for the winning player. Uh, of the winning team and then overall of the four mats there's a two shot two shots to be picked up for the overall shots and Peter currently holding two on this end Jürgen taking his time he's looking across mats because that two shots we've just talked about Nigel shake hands with Joel Hager. Jürgen again plays a little bit of weight and 
if we can get to it. Two shots to Peter. So Peter leads 15 shots to five after nine ends. Need to stage of the forehand. Three quarter of a jack. It's a touch over three quarter, but near enough. Good start from Peter. Jurgen's going to check the board, see what's happening. Big into as well for shot. It's again on his backhand. Most bowlers have got backhand there. Bloody good effort as well. Here's the language. Very good effort from Peter, that is. Jürgen making sure he's not short of this one. It's very good. Very good draw. Peter just putting a little bit of weight on, slightly tighter line. I think he was looking to come on to Jurgen's back bowl. Just sit that out, maybe. Which is, I'll try, I'm not a mind reader, but uh, not sure what Jurgen will do here. Maybe put him in as a blocker. Not sure where that gets him, but we will see. Still looking across the mats. Not sure the whole situation here. That's tight. Where's this going now? That's a really good result for Jürgen. Jürgen currently lying two. It's looking at his ball, see if it's going to fall over. It doesn't look like it is. Can't see any movement from here anyway. A bit slightly tighter on that back end again and just giving it a little bit of run, trying to get that split. That's very good. He's at least got it down. Let's have a look. Well, as the last wood was chalked, the bowl fell over. It looks like two to Peter. A little bit unfortunate for Jürgen. We'll see what Jürgen does with his last bowl now. Seeking advice from Jonas. Jonas, very well known for playing, and being very good at playing weight. See what Jonas does with this. Jürgen, even. <laughs> yeah, definitely playing weight. Let's see what we get here. Oh, that's a hell of an effort. Certainly, 
Looks like one, one, possibly two. Jürgen's asking for three with a smile on his face. Yes, yeah, so they shake hands. Two to Jürgen. Peter runs out a 15 shots to seven winner. What's the overall situation, Nigel? Yeah, so who's won? Did you win yours? Right. And, and did Craig win his? So that's two wins. So it's, and what's the shot difference currently? So it's all down to this last game. So I'll try and keep you up to date on this as best I can. As you heard Pete, uh, Nigel say, if Ed wins, then it's a win for England. <laughs> Everyone getting instructions from the sideline. They, they play in a very relaxed way this week. It's nice to see. Try and get up the other end so I can show you the head. You can play and wait. Let's have a look. So, overall, what we've got. So, England there, plus eight. Plus nine. Six down on that one, so that's England plus three. It's all on the last map. And Ed currently plus three as well. So, currently, England are six shots to the good. Um, with two wins and a loss. That means England currently have two points, Sweden have one. All down to this last game. And Ed currently line three there. It's looking fairly ominous for the Swedes, but holes is a funny game. Jonas Hager giving Edwin a little bit of advice. Um, surprisingly for the age difference, Jonas is far more experienced. He's been playing since he was a young boy, six or seven years of age. So Edwin amounts his weight. I don't know, I can't get behind his head at the moment. Jürgen very close to something. Well, takes one out. Not sure if that's one or two to Peter. So Ed saw we just for two. Erdman says yes. Here's, here's a beautiful crowd. Give us a wave. Well, there's a half-hearted wave there. Very half-hearted, that was. Let's see what we do then for this last end. So, good draw from Ed. Touch her and sits behind the jack. You and she's behind the jack. So Ed leading 11-6, so this will be a win on the mat for Ed. Let's give England another point and also will gain the shots advantage. So if my maths are correct, this will be five, five points to England and one to Sweden. Head as focused as ever. Another good front toucher from Ed. Certainly not making life easy for for the Swedes. 
It's always going to be a good game. They've been a bit closer this time. Uh, maybe a little bit unlucky. Good effort. He's going onto his forehand now. Just behind the head from Ed. That's almost a poem. Don't ask for any more. Urban looking to play a little bit of weight here by looking at the way he's approaching this. Yeah, he's coming at the head slightly. Just slightly wide. No, that was very good. So, a good hit from Urban. Not quite the result he would have liked, but he's cut it down. Just one shot to Ed now. Ed also playing a bit of weight here. Yes, gets oh, playing to that jack in the ditch and just comes underneath it. I suspect Urban, if Urban picks this up, it'll be a good shot. He, if he can get the jack clean, it should be lined three shots. Definitely lining himself up to play a little bit of weight. Yep, playing weight at this. Looks to be quite close. Oh no, it's one shot. Yeah, it's very good. So one to Urban. Uh, final score in that game is 11 shots to six. To Ed Sorbridge in England. So England come out winners in that group match. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll be back later.